Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to use Canva. We have previously talked about how to use PicMonkey, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit about Canva because um, it's a really cool free tool to use to design images for your blog or your business or whatever you need them for. Um, so we'll just jump right in here. I'm just at canva.com. I am logged in. It's a free account, so I would suggest creating an account um, just so that you can save all of your projects. You'll see here that I have all of my projects that I've been working on saved so I can go back to them at any time, which is a really nice feature um, that you don't get with PicMonkey. Now you'll see create a design. They have these templates here, but you can also click on more and there are tons of different designs and templates. There are letters, certificates, ebooks, business cards, pretty much everything you can think of as far as graphic design goes. Um, so that's a really nice feature to have. So we will go in and go ahead and do a Pinterest graphic just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys kind of a start to finish tutorial here. So what you're going to do, here are all the different layouts. Um, but what I do first is I get the picture that I want to use and I'll put it, just drag it right here into the uploads so that I have it. You'll see these are all different pictures that I've uploaded and worked with. And then I'll go through and pick design. There are tons of different things, so you can pretty much do anything you want with these. Just kind of scroll through and show you here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and use this. Now, when you drag this image, you could delete this image in the back. Oops. You could just delete this image in the back here, um, but you can also just replace it, which is a really nice little function. So if you just drag it right over the edge there and drop it, it replaces that background image. And you'll see there are all these different little elements here. Um, so to highlight the one that you want to change or get rid of, just look and see which one is outlined. And then you can go ahead and change the color or the size or whatever else you need to change. So for this, we're going to say how to use Canva for business. We'll kind of move this around because these right here, these little lines and elements I'm not going to be using, although you can use them if you want. Sometimes it can be a little hard to select those smaller elements. So just make sure that you see the outline pop up before you click it. And then we will drag that text right on back down. You can see it has kind of the guidelines to show you if it's centered or not, which is really nice and helpful. And then you can go and change the colors to whatever you want. Now it does have a default palette, but you can go and pretty much get any color you want. So we'll leave it here. And you can go through, there are many, many different elements. You can pretty much find whatever you want in here and you can also search. So for instance, if you were looking for a dollar icon, you could type dollar and you'll see there's all of these. Now keep in mind, it's usually going to show you the free ones first up at the top and it'll be marked down here. It says free. Um, and there are also some that you can purchase for a dollar or so. So just keep that in mind when you're designing. If you have a budget or not, um, you can purchase them. And if not, you can just use the free ones that you have to work with. These are all the different kinds of things that you can do with text. See, most of these are free. And you can also change the size of the text initially, add in the heading, you can change the size here, you can change the color, and all of these other typeface tools that you would normally use. So the nice thing about this is you can go right up here, change the title, and when you download it, you can download it as PNG, PDF, or JPG, which is really helpful if you're doing any kind of print. Um, and you can also make it public. But the other thing that I like to do um, is save them. So when you go back to Canva, if you just go to canva.com, for instance, if I had to get interrupted or do something different um, and I had to go back to that project, it would be much easier. So we'll go ahead and download this now. close out of that. We will refresh over here and then you'll see this will pop up here. 
So it's just generating a preview, but the nice thing is I can go right back to it and it's exactly how I left it. So this is a really good tool for making any kind of graphic design or images or anything that you need for your business or your blog. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's free as long as you're using all the free tools and there are more than enough to make great graphics with just the free stuff. Um, and it's just kind of really fun to go through and use all these templates and put your own spin on them. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. Um, and have a great week.